see if he can do anything more. Runs out of bullets at the end. It's the Deagle on Perfecto to take him down an electronic tree. Have a good back line with the Mac 10 taking down as well. And Shiro, so good at the rifles as well. I think he's known as one of the world's best orbits, of course, but he has got pixel perfect precision uh, with the AK and, of course, the. Nice nade. Oh, yeah, that should slow them down just enough. Maybe even just literally slow them in terms of the grenade damage there. Shiro's going to be cleaning up a little bit. Maybe get another two kills. Oh, he's actually going to pick up the Galil instead. Still will go down. To get stuck in. He knows the swing is coming any second. The bomb is planted. And still a five on five. How do you retake this one? You've got barely any utility. But that certainly helps. Double kill from Afro. And all of a sudden, they've got a four on two advantage. There has to be something like that. But here comes the backstab, though. Perfecto gets one. He's ready to throw down the up At this point. And you just don't have much utility. You've got Messi with no grenades whatsoever. Afro has to deliver. He oh, yeah, he misfired. He didn't fire a shot. No, because the Molotov was landing on him and he was low on health. He had to run. And Down the hall, baby. You can see Axel just working the other side of the map, ensuring this rotation can't come through. There can only be two players towards A in this four versus three. Axel, Michael Rissime to come over. He's got Shiro just patrolling this scaffolding position. Very patient, rewarded for it as well. And uh, that's going to be it. I don't think many players have missed a shot on Cloud9. Covers all the angles. Crims with their speculative spray actually denies the plot of eight. Plants is a big problem. Axel patient on that corner in the middle. Crims is going to be the first victim big. of the round, but this is not bad. A Dexter and Afro getting back into the double kill for Afro before he's out of there. But it's perfecto to bring it back into line. Two versus two. A massive. You can do it. Like he's dead. It's done. Um, so you had a crossfire, but Crims just kind of like disabled it. They just didn't want to be part of it. They're experimenting, experimenting a lot with the economy actually buying the M4 even in, in save rounds, just the odd one. So if you happen to save one, I feel like you're almost having that round anyway. Why not just go for it? Hello. They're doing a fine job. Roy with a double spray down in the FAMAS up front with Afro. This is looking beautiful at the moment. They're just cleaning it up. They didn't need anything else. Go here. We not necessarily expect it, and Axel certainly were. Nice trade, but Crims will maintain that advantage. Lovely setup there towards the B steps. Next up, a crafty position as well. They're looking to find six rounds in. I think they might have done it, Anders. Yeah, it looks like it. I think they're vindicating that position that you were talking about earlier, having a little bit of a setup. Oh, oh bro, but Afro, he's still able to adjust somehow. Hobbit, that's supposed to be a kill every time. It's a hard position to dig out. He's got Perfecto on the other side, and he's got the M4A4. So he's got all the bullets he could ever want for this kind of a defense. The bomb has been dropped. Timings and overlook positions. He needs to be baited in, and all three CTs are here, and there's all of a sudden, this looks like it. There's a chance. There is a chance. It's making me nervous. Ooh. The line of Axel. He's good for the double. And now the second MP9 is going to be swung, but it's just perfect to left. But they just didn't want to risk it. Still a four versus three. Two M4s, one AWP. You said electronic, not known to be an offer, but he got the first kill. The timing, it couldn't have been better for Axel. He's going to pick up Roy trying to backpedal. Good headshot from Mezzi. Might be the pivotal kill. Control. Again, don't have to commit. Don't have to rush this one. They've got the advantage. Need to ascertain what they're up against. And the reaction from the CTs is coming through. No flashback to speak up, but a headshot from Axel and Perfecto connects to the Deagle as well. So back to a three on three. Still a massive advantage for Fnatic, of course, but Electronic knows he needs to be a bit more active. They need to catch him off guard, and they'll certainly do that. There's the kill. Shiro might actually be able to find yet another, bring it down to an advantage in their favor, but that's the kill that really had to land. It's the opening kill once again for Roy. Dexter will find the second round done. This was a partial buy, upgraded pistols and SMG. And they will be finding at least the maximum loss bonus going forward. And that's about as good as it gets for them. And they just have Axel remaining. 5-7 in hand. And four players to find. So it will be Fnatic after. So of course, in a lot of trouble as Roy once again at this A ramp. Finding these opening frags time and time again. He has been such a nuisance for them. It's Hobbit trying his way. Bit of a smoke and he takes down Mezzi. 20 seconds, Henry. This is a nightmare. Yeah, what a smoke that is. That might just uh, secure the power. And they've got all five players outside B. It will be an execution. They have to commit to this one. They have no presence on the map otherwise, and it will be Axel with the opening frag. Messi has gone down. Yeah, he got grenaded and then shot, and it didn't even matter that Axel was blind. He almost gets that kill on Roy. This is a bit of a disaster. The Molotovs are holding them back as well. Swing for Perfecto. He gets the kill, pulls out the Deagle, and in the meantime, Shiro has shown up. It's fallen apart for Fnatic. Oh. Their hopes and dreams getting crushed. It's just after giving him what he wants, and now he has to come and find it instead. A little bit of a swing around the corner as he's looking for it, edging his way into the fight, but they're like ghosts on the bomb site, and there's Perfecto taking him down, 16. The bomb site are not close and personal. They got the MP9s there as well. There is a bit of a backstab potential coming in from the middle, but it's Afro. No. Good for the first one. Perfecto on the double, and that should be enough, I think. It's going to put a lot of pressure on Dex. I don't know. He's looking everywhere. Oh, my God. I don't know, Andy. <laughs>
escorting Crims outside A main. He does give himself a headshot to his teammate, but finds the opening frag. They've got some man advantage, but not for long. Three on three, and the rifle is down. Oh my god, Dexter, how's he won that fight? I have no idea. With the smoke fading, Hobbit should have been dead. Or should have been able to get the kill. Goes the other way somehow. I, I just can't even explain it. Quick USP shot to the hill. Be often, this it's really often not enough. It, it, unfortunately, it, it, it can still fall apart here. Perfecto is going to get the kill on one. Crims manages to get yeah. just away in dark. It's close. I thought Kims was going to commit to that fight, and he's underway. It's a difficult one for Cloud9, but they are doing significant damage. Afro down to two points of health. Electronic couldn't get closer. And this time it's being put onto the B-bomb site. Perfecto, good for the opening. No. But Crims just spinning all over the place. He's sure someone's going to be coming from dark, but nobody is. And they don't clear out that very common position there from Dexter. They weren't even considering it. Now he might even get a double kill. Well, there's that Mac 10 we spoke of. The timings have been so awkward in this game. The moment you look away from a choke point, that's when your opposition seems to walk out. Bomb will be planted. Bear in mind, the Mac 10 still very potent here. Finds Crims and the man advantage. You might just be saving. You're looking uncomfortable financially. And maybe just a straight up A rush and send the Mac 10 in first. And this could be one of those really exciting rounds. Electronic trying to show presence towards middle. Taken down by Afro. The Mac 10 looking to deliver, needs the headshot, finds Dexter, and now upgrading to the rifle as well. They've actually got access in towards A, but after four USPs, and it came down to the one versus one, and I always say, Fnatic, they always seem to get so much out of these full ecos. They always have a, a novel setup or a gimmick play. They do have one. They double flash their way through the windows. They already threw one. There's the second one, and there's the full-on rush. Here we go. A little bit far away, but you know what? That's two kills for Messi, and it's just off the back of USPs and two flashbangs. Oh, it's messy as well. He's gonna, okay, I was going to say, Perfecto goes down. This round is wide open once more. Roy, unfortunately, not part of the pack. He can't recover that full in AWP. He's getting some information. He's hearing the jumps up, so he knows True. sort of it's how far back they've gone. They still have the Molotov on Messi, and they're going to use it right there. You pointed it out. You said it, Henry. He was low on health, and that's why they probably didn't want him to be the main force of the attack. But now, instead of a four and three, it's a two versus four. Crims will be good for a couple Don't of kills. So 35 seconds left. He's got 17 overall. One of the most veteran players we have in this yeah. space. Let's see what yeah. he's up to. This is an advanced level. I like it, though. Right between the obelisk and that right-hand side wall. Dexter's pushed on through. He's actually got the right idea. Perfecto, no he should be dead when the clock comes out. <laughs> Perfecto, how does he get away with that one? Shiro gets a kill. Axile on the trade there as they did lose Electronic. And now it's a two versus two. Absolutely working out. Flashbang is amazing. And that sets them up nicely. At least they're going to get a bit closer. Two of them coming in from the one side. Perfecto on the kill. Only two players left. And now just Crims in another Let's one. Let's go. X. He's got the first two kills. This he needs it. the ace and it's not going to happen. Ugh. Hobbit will take him down instead, and it's Cloud9 to say they look like a team that's just so strong at the moment.